Hi everybody, N5SIM here, and Worldwide Sideband 1725, WWS 1725, got that uh, one in front of there. <laughs> Fun group, check them out on uh, Facebook. Anyway, uh, James, KG5PTE, uh, one of the uh, predominant hams here in the area, had an extra sideband radio, DX959 uh, Galaxy, and wanted to know if he could... Uh, do a couple different things. One, he wanted to know, could we make it a uh, complete 10 meter radio? And also, could we make it uh, more stable? Because these uh, galaxies drift quite a bit. So, uh, answer to both, yes. <laughs> There's two, uh, two things I want to do with this video today. I just wanted to, to let you know that um, I've gotten a lot of emails about, is it hard to put the kit in? A lot of people see it. They go on the on the on the www.ddsvfo.com site. They download the manuals, look at it, and they say, "Wow, it looks really complicated." Well, it really isn't. It's more of a physical challenge than an electronics challenge, and I'll tell you why. Getting this display to fit in uh, the channel where the, you know the 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 seven segment uh, the two seven segment displays go you know, in the 148, same way, you know, that's the physical challenge of getting that in. And I, I say that's the biggest challenge of all, is getting that in there. Then the other challenge is just the wiring. There's, I think it's 20, I believe, 20 wires that go to the Arduino board. And if you notice on my breadboard, I do this on every install so that I know that the, you know, the RF generator works. I know that the Arduino module works. I know the display works and the, you know, the encoder here. So I breadboard all this and it looks like a huge mess. It's scary looking, right? Don't let that scare you. Um, these are just jumper wires going to different places so that I can hook different things up and test and, and do things. When you're done with the kit, it should look something like this. You know, there's the Arduino board, there's the RF generator board right here, um, Arduino board right down there. God, I'm bad with a camera. <laughs> and, uh, you know, everything nice and wire tied, you know, going to the back of the board. Again, if you saw the other video on the RF, uh, HF uh, receiver, this is the HF receiver board, real easy to put in. Um, one piece of coax and one, two, three wires, and then you just jump your antenna in and out of the board to up here. So it's real simple to put in, and it gives you HF receive 160 to 20 meters along in there. But anyway, um, just a real quick short video. You know, when you do these, I wanna make sure that, that you understand it, it really is something we'd like you to do is to buy the kits. If you're a, if you're a CB shop or, you know, a hobbyist that you want to buy the kits, buy the kits and then charge the people for an install. Um, you know, we do that here, uh, but there's nothing really, again, technical about putting them in. Uh, I made myself a little cheat sheet here that I have laying under the thing. And it just tells me where everything goes, right? A couple of diagrams of how I hook up the encoder and the, you know, the... Uh, clarifier pot and all that and as you can tell they get dirty full of flux and solder and all that kind of stuff but that's what i use and it makes the install a lot quicker and you know if you, you need me to email you that sure no problem <laughs> we want you to uh experience putting these kits in and have fun building something and it's uh it's a really uh really fulfilling thing to get it done and make it work so hope that helps a little bit to describe what's going on with the dds vfo kit uh, CB Radio Magazine sent us a couple radios. We're going to do some videos. They're going to compile those videos into something pretty cool uh, every step of the way on the video or on the install. So you'll be able to end up with this from having, you know, <laughs> a big mess. <laughs> and you don't have to have a breadboard. There's no reason to. You can hook the wires directly up to the uh, Arduino and the RF generator module in the radio and test them there. But uh, be assured, we test everything before we send you the kit. I breadboard uh, all of the, uh, the generators and the, and the uh, displays, whatever colors, whatever you want. All of that's done so that when you get your kit, you know it works. All right. Well, I hope everybody has a great, safe day. Get on the radio. Do some DXing. Until next time, don't forget to like and share the video.